One of my favorite fields or categories in coin collecting has been the Franklins. Those of you that have been with me in a coin show before know it's one of my faves because of one thing, how affordable the coins are for as rare as they are. When you compare them to Silver Eagles, Kennedys, or anything else out there. Well, tonight I have the last two years of issue. They're Denver Mint and they're Gem 65s certified. These are special. Beyond special. Now, the your choice means if you only want to have one, you want to just put one aside. It's not really your thing yet, but you're thinking about it. Thank you. But they're available tonight at $79.95 on the three. And then, I'm sorry, $79.95 on the two, 62, and then $59.95 on the 63. So the story of the Franklin is pretty simple. And it's been documented quite well over the last decade to 20 years. Silver dollars are pulled from circulation in 1935, right? 34 is pulled, 34 is gold, 35 is silver dollars, right? And we have not had a silver dollar since then. The Eisenhower was a copper clad in circulation. The last, the big silvers were the dime, the quarter, and the half dollar, and the last series was the Franklin. We had one year of the Kennedy in 64 before it was pulled. So the Franklin has a great history. Looking at a half a century ago, and one thing that has a significant effect, it just does. And that is in 1980, silver goes to $50 an ounce. And why that has an effect is, well, I was a paper boy in the late 60s and early 70s. Have my paper out, go out and collect for delivering the papers every week, right? And you get change. And back then, you still got a lot of silver coins. So I put the silver in my albums if I needed the coin in the mint mark, right? Or I put it in the bucket if it was just silver. And I think many of you probably did the same thing. Saw silver, put it aside. No different than wheat cents or uh, even Indian cents going back to when I was younger. When you looked at 1980, these things melted at 20 bucks a coin. At silver at 50. So as a result, we had a huge rush on silver for the first time in history. Then later in the 1980s is when NGC opened their door. And they've been doing this for over 35 years. And the funny thing is this. And it's not funny. It's just you look at the number and say, that can't be real. And then you look at it again, and it, it's real. The Denver Mint made more coins in 62 and 63 than the Philadelphia. Yes. So if you're buying an uncirculated coin in a capsule, the Philadelphia is the better coin. But because they made so many coins, certified high-grade fours and fives, it's all Denver. The value is definitely in Denver. Listen to these numbers. As I referenced, hard to believe them, but it's what they are, and they're published. 35.4 million 62s and 67 million 63s. Now... If Allison was with me here on, on this conversation with you, you'd be hearing the clapping game, right? If you're, clap, if you're striking a coin like this, the quality can be what it's going to be. But when you increase the mintage that much, significantly increase it, the quality of strike goes down. Even better, now you have 1980 hit, which is between the services, and then you look at the last 35 years. Now, 64s are my love. 64 and higher is the 1% club, which means 99% of the coins in the marketplace are not that nice. These are fives. Listen to these numbers in four. In four, we're looking at 5,995 of the 62s. Yeah, under 6,000 coins known to exist. The 63s, 11,800 and change. Here is where it gets scary, as I reference, where it's like, whoa. In five, one jump up in grade from four to five, that 62D goes from almost 6,000, it goes down to 1441. That's 35 years, and all that is known today is 1441. The 63 is just as crazy. Right? I referenced 11,800 and change. In 65 or higher, the last year of issue is 4,032 today. 
Not a year ago, today. And that number includes 65s, 66s, and the few 67s that exist. Few, we're talking like a handful. These are the gems. If you had a silver eagle that had a known population for rarity in a certain grade, would say a 70, because in the last couple of decades, that's kind of the coin of the realm, right? And it only had... 1,441 known, and it was an uncirculated coin. Where would that be? There are none in the Silver Eagle field that are that small. The ones that are, are multi-thousand dollar coins. Now, these coins in capsules, in capsules, which means Ben State 60s, 61s, my competition's at 68.75 and at 65.50. So in the 63, they want more for a coin in a capsule than I have one of the finest known specimens on the planet. Second phase, yes, thank you, Hunter, I was going to mention that. The quality of strike and the quality of appearance. In the last three to four months, there's been a huge swing in the industry on something we've been talking about for a decade now. And that is the appeal. I appeal matters. The grade is the characteristics of the coin whether it's a green coin or a blast white beauty, right? These are blast white beauties, all of ours. We kicked out all those with just distracting what they call toning. Now, the mint mark at 12 o'clock below the E and the S in dollar. It looks like it's kind of the sleeve where you would hang the bell. That's actually the mint mark. So tonight is one of those fun conversations because we're talking about real rare coins. Less than a half a century, give or take a half a century old, right? And we're talking about coins that have very few known to exist this nice. It's not because we're not sending in coins. We can't find coins, one. And two, we can't find coins that will grade out this high. The difference between a four and a five is significant. But the price, not. Our price tonight, $79.95 on the 62. Only 1,441 of those known in the world that nice. And then on the 63, the last year of issue, in five, this coin, 4,032 as of today. That number hasn't changed but a few coins in a long time. In a real, real long time. Guys, we don't have time for a clock. So let's spend a couple of quick seconds looking at this. We're, the phones are jammed right now, and we're down to single digits. If you're visiting us via the web, push it through your shopping cart, lock it down. It's an intertwined inventory. So if you want to hang around for a couple of hours, and uh, this is sold out by then, and it will be, uh, your shopping cart won't let you process. So again, you have to call up Hunter or his operating crew, and they'll walk you through the process. This one is special, but the price is even more so. Some of the rarest Franklins, 79, 59, oh my. 